Peace and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. Let's get a list. Go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. So this video is going to be about, yes, I feel good. I'm smiling right now. Life is good. God is good. God is great. The reason why they hate you. Now, there's many reasons. As a chosen one, there's many reasons why they hate you. I'll leave one, one of the reasons right here why they hate you. There's many reasons. But this is a reason that many people don't know. Because like I said, it's all spiritual. I told you guys, in life, most of the things we encounter, it's, it's, it's spiritual. It's, it's something spiritual that we don't understand because it's more deeper than the physical. And, you know, the natural man doesn't understand the things of the spirit. So I'm going to tell you why they don't like you as a chosen one. You've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. Okay? Your spirit irritates their demons. You wonder why people don't hit you up no more. People don't want to be your friend no more. Or when you or when you do hang out with them, you know, it's like weird vibes, strange energy. I have a video on that too. Where people just give you straight. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, when God's calling you, and when you accept the calling... Now people just switch up on you. Those demons that you used to have, you've been delivered. God's delivered you from uh, porn, uh, doing drugs, fornicating. He delivered you from all that. They still got those demons that they're battling. And, I, and then when, you, when those demons get removed from you and you got the Holy Spirit, now people are going to switch up. Now people are going to hate you, man. Understand, our, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So when people are hating on you for no damn reason, understand it's always spiritual. And that could be a form of draining your energy. When someone's hating on you or, or you get bad, strange vibes, that could kind of drain your energy. That's why we, I always tell you guys to protect your energy. Be very cautious of the company you surround yourself with because energy is contagious. Good energy is contagious. That's not, not always bad. Good energy is contagious too. But being around the wrong energy can kind of dra can drain your spirit and have you operate like them. <laughs> you know? And this is, one, this, is, this is an instance, right? I don't know how I could say the dude's name. But, um, you know, I've been going hard with the content. I was, I, I, was, I used to upload three videos a day, but I kind of went two videos. But I'm like, bro, I'm fired up. I'm using my energy. I'm going to preach the kingdom of God, bro. I'm fired up. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I'm like, no, I'm making three videos a day, bro. And he, and he said that, um, Mark, you're uploading too much. Like I said, everything is spiritual, guys. Everything is spiritual. Okay? My spirit irritates his demons, bro. That's what it is. When someone has demons in them, when someone has, and I'm not here to cast stones on anyone, but when someone's struggling, watching porn, uh, fornicating, uh, playing with themselves and all that, right? Those are spirits using their vessel. It's going to use their vessel to attack the chosen one. Mark, why are you uploading videos so much? Uh, Mark, why are you preaching about God? Why are you preaching about Jesus? Why? <laughs> I know, I, now I know why they're saying this. A lot of people don't understand. When people hate you guys, it's spiritual, bro. As a chosen one. Because you can't be hated for being a false prophet. You can't be hated for being fake. You know? Being a sane child. You can be hated for that. But when you're righteous, you're God-fearing. God has chosen you. And you're just, you know, you're bearing the fruits of the spirit. You're, you're advancing in the kingdom of God. And you're like, well, what the heck? Why are they hating on me? You know, the Bible even says, I'll leave a verse right here. You know, they hated him without a cause. They hated Christ. They hated him without a cause, a man without sin. And I'm going to go in on the scriptures too, guys, in this video. So we all know the Bible, as a servant of Christ, we got to understand we're not better than the master. Everything he went through, we got to go through too. A man without sin who was hated on, that's demonic, bro. That lets you know that no matter how good, you could be feeding the whole, you could be like giving money to everyone in the world, right? Let's say, let's say you're like the government, you got this, you just blessing everyone with the stimulus check. Or you got Elon Musk money, and you're just giving everyone $100, right? People are still going to have something negative to say, bro. They're still going to have something bad to say about you. You're only giving $100, you should be giving $200. you only giving $200, you should be giving $1,000. It's always going to be a, neg a naysayer, a negative, negative being, a demonic spirit trying to drain you. Always. And you being a chosen one, you got to rise above it, bro. Don't let, don't let the naysayers... Keep on doing what God wants you to do. Whenever God's calling you to do something, you, you listen to God. Forget what they got to say. Because like I said, uh, Jesus was a man without sin. They hated him. So never live to please people. When people are hating you for being a chosen one, you, you should rejoice. I'll leave another scripture right here too. <laughs> I'm going in. Woo! I'm going in. They hated the real They hated the real prophets. They hated the chosen. Always. There's nothing new under this, son. So of course they're going to hate you. Of course you're going to lose friends. Uh, family members, uh, rela relationships, you know, that's not meant for you in your life. You got to understand, that's all part of being a chosen one, man. 
I know we some people might watch shows in one videos and might think that it's all rainbow and skittles or whatever, you know, and it's not, man. Because it's suffering. It's a life of suffering. That's what it is every single day. But we're suffering for righteous sake. We're suffering because we know that the prize at the end, when this is all done, when the suffering ends, we're not going to remember this suffering. We're going to be laughing. The things that people are selling their soul for, that are the things that people are worshiping, we're going to be laughing. It's like, dang, they did that for, like, for what? There was no profit. Being an idolater, there's no profit. Okay, but serving God, uh, advancing the kingdom of God, there's a profit in that. Helping his sheep, helping his people, there's a profit in that. Not, you know, caring about how much money you got, how much money you make, or hating on the next man, being jealous of the next man. For what? For what? So that's why they're going to hate you. You know, like I said, they hated Christ. So whenever you're going, guys, I'm telling you, bro, this is all spiritual. You got to understand when you go through stuff, when you go through stuff in life, I'm going to leave another scripture right here. Have understanding to understand, okay, I'm getting hated on because they got demons on them, bro. They got demons and I got the Holy Spirit and now they're mad. They're upset. But it's not them that's mad. It's not, maybe, it's not, sometimes guys, it don't even be in a person's heart to hate on you. It don't even be in their heart. It's just, they're weak vessels. They're, they're weak spirits. So they allow the spirits to jump in their body to hate you, to prosecute you. Satan got it. Satan's a coward. He got to use someone to get to you. Just like how Satan had to use Judas to get to Jesus. Okay, he always got to use someone. So you got to understand that most of these people that come your way that are hating on you, they're just being used. And, I, and I, let them be used. Don't even focus on that, bro. Focus on a, a narrow path. Keep on going straight. Because there's going to be distractions. There's going to be agents. Handlers are going to get mad. They're going to send agents your way. I'm telling y'all, bro, it's a spiritual warfare. But let them hate. You just keep them being great. Let them hate. Keep on being great. Woo! Don't let them steal your joy. Because what does the devil come to do? To steal, kill, and destroy, bro. That's what he's coming to do. So as he's coming to do that, you got to have wisdom. And don't feed, don't, let it, don't feed into it. Don't feed into the negative energy. Because like I said, it's a spiritual war. These are just vessels that are being used. Now, there's some people whose vessels are being used for for good. And there's, again, I understand there's also vessels being used for bad. You don't want to think everything is bad, everything is negative. Now, that's what the main, that's what mainstream media promotes. That's what you see most in the world. But understand, there's still children that are pushing the kingdom of God that are out here in the world. So you don't want to think that everyone has, everyone's a demon or everyone's an evil spirit. That's not the truth. Most people are. Most people are opening demonic doors unaware or some people know maybe are, are aware of it but unawarely they're doing it and you got to understand that since they're doing that closed doors you don't know what what the next man is doing or the next woman is doing so you got to arm yourself and have the armor on and when you go on to the world and they meet new people you got to understand not everyone has their best interest for you okay it's a lonely lonely road and the more deeper you go in the narrow path the more lonely it's gonna be that's one thing I learned, man. The more you go, it's just more lonely. You're going to lose people, people who are serving no purpose, people who are not meant to go where God is taking you. It's a high calling. They're not meant to go because the only thing they're going to do is set you back, get you to go back to things that God has delivered you from. And because of that, because God has delivered you from that, maybe he, God wants to deliver them, but they're not putting in the work. Faith without works is dead. They ain't putting in the work. They have, maybe they say they have faith with their mouth, but their actions are not showing it because true, true uh, faith is going to produce works. Not to say they're going to be perfect and without sin, but they're going to be striving to, you know, do the best they can to please him because we love God. We don't just love God with our mouth. We love God with our obedience, how we live our life. That's how you love God. Not by going to church on Sundays or like, you know, giving your money to your pastor or, you know, it's loving God every single day, bro. With your lifestyle, honoring your, your his vessel, not to find ourselves with fornicating, watching porn, masturbating getting high, doing things that, you know, are, are, it's, it's not, it's not set apart. We're called to be set apart, apart, man. That's what we're called to be. And you being a chosen one, you have a high calling and you can't, and that's why you don't fit in no more because God chose you, chose you out of the world. They're still in the world. You're not called out of the world, world man. So don't let it be, don't be mad. Don't be sad. Cause understand that the prize at the end of this when this place is burned up with fire and brimstone, you know, we know that we're going to be sealed just like, um, what's his name? Lot, Lot was so when, when uh, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with fire and brimstone, he was delivered by the angels. And that's also another reason why they hate you. When you got angels around you and someone got an army of demons in them, 
they're gonna get mad. Like I said, mostly people, guys, they won't even know why. They won't even know it. <laughs> they won't even know it. Cause those demons, they can't attack you. Cause you got the angels protecting you. And and, and the demons in them get mad, and they get mad at that vessel that's being used. Cause they realize that nothing that he could say, nothing that he, or he or she could say, will affect you, will bother you. They can't pierce through your armor. They can't. They can't because the angels of God. They got you shielded. They got you covered. You're a child of God. You're covered. You fear God. You are covered. So they're mad. They're pissed off. And like I said, when God delivers you from a certain sin or a stronghold, and let's say the next year your friend has, still has that, and he and he ain't, now if he's trying to break free, then that's different. But he, if he ain't trying to, I'm telling you, that demon's gonna use him to to attack you, to hate on you. I'm telling you, that's facts, bro. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Maybe not the same day, maybe not the same week, but in due time, that demon's gonna use that vessel to attack you, bro. You can't. It's a it's a program in the simulation. It's a program in the matrix, bro. It's never gonna fail, man. You know, demons they always expose themselves in due time. Now, God always shows you before. You know, there's a lot of times we don't listen, or a lot of times, we, you know, us chosen ones were in past, so we want to give people chances. We want to give people opportunities, knowing damn well they ain't good. These people ain't changing. Most of these people ain't changing, bro. Most of these people ain't living a life of repentance. Okay? So they're opening doors, and those spirits are using them, manipulating them, lying to them, and that's how they, you know, using them to get to you. So understand it's a spiritual warfare. Understand that you got to be praying non-stop uh, without casing because if you don't if you, if you if you walk in the flesh and that's how you know so one thing i noticed about my life when i was walking in the flesh guys i would attract other people in the flesh you know when the bible is the bible say friends of the world is god's enemy and we all know god is a jealous god so he's gonna be pissed off at you not at them he's gonna be mad at you so understand that it's all about obedience bro we're living to please God. We're living to level up in the kingdom of God. We're seeking his righteousness daily. His righteousness daily. These other people, these other, uh, these people got demons, these haters, jealous, envious, uh, gossip, drama, the people who are plagued with that spirit. We ain't worried about them. And let them hate because they hated Jesus, bro. They hated him. A man without sin, bro. What the hell are they going to do to you, bro? They're going to they do you worse because we're not without sin. If a man says he's without sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Thing is, we're not willfully sinning. Okay, I'm gonna leave that verse right here or somewhere around here. So that's it for this message. Understand when people are hating on you, it's spiritual. Don't think of it in a physical, uh, physical mind. Now, some people can get jealous of you, like I said, they got like material stuff. They could be jealous of that too. But most of the time, it's spiritual. Most of the time, it's spiritual, guys. And once you understand things spiritually, you understand, oh, okay, this is why they're doing this, you know? And it doesn't, you don't get famous anymore. You don't get bothered because you understand. And I already left that verse. Understanding is a wellspring of life to him who has it. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got an end screen video if you want to check out right there. I'm out. Peace, 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 shalom.